Leslie, have we got you? Yeah, I can hear you too. Okay, great. Okay, Leslie, you said that you were given this as a problem and it comes from the sequences section and you hadn't been taught it at school but that you'd done it at Saturday school and you really didn't understand it. So I'm going to try and help you. Okay. Yeah. All right, what was the first part of the question? Did you just have to put in a couple more terms? I wanted us to, okay, we are doing that one. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, the first question says, mm -hmm. if the sequence behaves constant, constantly, determine the two next terms. Okay, um, I'm just going to ask the studio to try and, and um, dull your sound a little bit. It's a little bit loud in my ear. I can't hear what you're saying. Okay, Leslie, can you just say that again, please? Okay, they say determine the next two terms. The next two terms. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's first have a look at that. Let's take... If I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, let's just see quickly. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, clearly. Right, let's have a look. All right, Leslie, if we have a look at the difference between the numbers 5 and 18... Do you agree that to get from 5 to 18, you add 13? Yeah, I agree. Okay. Now, I agree. if you go from 18 to 37, you're going to add 19. 37 take away 18 is 19. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to keep on going. 62 take away 37 is 25. And then 93 take away 62 I'm adding 31. Yeah. So what I notice is that I'm not adding the same amount every time, but can you see that here, between 19 and 13, there's a difference of 6. Between 25 and 19, there's a difference of 6. And between 31 and 25, there's a difference of 6 again. So can you see that here I added 13, here I added 6 more than 13, here I added another 6 more than 19, here I added another 6 more than 25. Alright, so I'm hoping that you're going to follow because instead of adding 31 here, I'm going to add 37. Are you kind of catching on? 31 was 6 more than 25. 37 how is 6 more than 31. Question? Yes, of course you can ask a question. How, can you, how do you get 37? Okay, because can you see, let's, let's say I take something like the following. Let's say I just take 2, 5, 8, 11. Let's say I take a really easy sequence like that. Can you see that here I'm adding 3? Here I'm adding 3. Here I'm adding 3. So I'm adding 3 all the time. So it's constant. Yeah. So I know that the next time I must just add 3. So that's going to become 14. All right? Then yeah. the next time I must also add 3. So that's going to become 17. Yeah. Are you with me? Because yeah. the f I know now that I'm adding 3 every time. But mm. here I'm not going to adding 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. Here I added 13. The next time I added 19. The next time I added 25. So can you see each time I'm adding 6 more than the time I added before? Yeah, I can see when you're adding 6. It becomes okay, another so number. 13, add 6, now I must add 19. Add 6, now I must add 25. Add 6, now I must add 31. Add 6, now I must add 37. So how much am I going to add the next time? I'm not going to add 37. What am I going to add? You're going to get 37 plus 6. Excellent. I'm going to add 43 next time. Okay? And let's do one more. The next time, what am I going to add? I'm not going to add 43. I'm going to add how much? 
You're going to get 49. Excellent. Okay, and that's how I'm actually going to create my sequence, Leslie. So my next number here is going to be 93. I must add 37. So 93 add 37 is going to be 130. Okay, then yeah. I must add 43. So I'm going to get 173. And then I must add 49 which is going to become 173 plus 49, 173 plus 49. Let's check. My mental arithmetic is 222. Then how do I get 130? Because I know to how to get 37. Then I have to say 6 plus 37. That will give me 43. Okay, because can you see that I had to take 93, this number, and I had to add 37 to it. So if you take 93 and yeah. you add 37, that's going to give you 10. Add another one gives you 130. Yeah. And then I, I must take 130 and add 43 and I get 173. Then yeah. I must add 49. Okay, so I'm going to try you on another one to see if I've helped you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's make that. Okay, let's say I give you um, that number. Yeah, there we go. Let's have a look at if you can predict what the next two terms are going to be. Can you see here I'm adding four? Yeah. Here I'm adding six. Here I'm adding eight. So how many would I have to add the next time? Uh, you have to add another two again. Mm -hmm. So what am I going to add? To be ten. Ten. Excellent. And what am I going to add the next time? That is going to be two again, then it becomes twelve. Excellent. So can you see that each time, Leslie, I have to make sure that I add Two more than I added the time before. So my next term here would be 35. Because I had to take 25 and add 10 gives me 35. And then my next one would be 37 add 12, which 35 add 12, which would give me 47. Okay, yeah. does that help you to create those terms? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, thanks, Leslie. Hopefully we can help you again sometime soon. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs>